Hey y'all. So um, I just wanted to give a quick little update. So yeah, that's, that's kind of like the, it's not gonna be nothing long winded this particular video because I will be, I will be posting another video um, in another day or so. So I am just gonna kind of give a quick little overview of um, my um, weight maintenance now that I am off of my Jaro. And I also wanted to kind of list a few things that I've done to um, maintain my weight for this month, the month of February. So for, um, first of all, my weight is 145.3. So happy about that. I wanted to give myself a five pound kind of fluctuation weight, uh, weight, a five pound fluctuation weight. That's kind of like a song sister, but anyway, a five pound fluctuation weight. Um, and just kind of, as long as I'm not trending up, then I will just continue to do what I do, you know, normally. Um, but if I start to see a trend and a trend, meaning like on a bi-weekly basis, I would like to catch it prior to the month ending. So on a bi-weekly basis, as long as my weight fluctuates like this within five pounds, I'm good. But if after two weeks I go up and then I go up another two weeks, and then another two weeks. And then you see what I'm saying? So that, that will cause me to kind of start to figure out other measures to get my weight back down. Okay. So <sighs> that's what I do. I just kind of watch myself every two weeks or so um, and make sure that I am not trending upwards and that my weight stays within a five pound fluctuation, like within, and it just kind of up and down, up and down like a snake. I'm good with that trend, okay? Other than that, um, so, and I have, I've been doing well. I got up to, I think this month, the highest I got to was 147.1. And then I was just kind of was like, okay, well, let me just kind of cut back. That was a weekend kind of thing where I think it was more so sodium and just water weight. But again, something that I just watch out for. Um, I always weigh myself, try to weigh myself on Mondays because that's usually when the weekend is over and I can kind of tell what I did for the weekend and what I need to cut back for the week. So that's what I do. I allow myself the weekend to have a good time. I really do. I mean, and if it st starts to get to a point where it doesn't work for me, then I'll just cut back on the weekends. But all of the salty, high sodium foods are like my best friend. And I love like salty gumbos and etouffees and jambalayas and you know what I mean like so what I'll do is like Monday through Friday I'm cutting back and I'm like kind of watching my calorie intake and I kind of keep it at around 1600 calories um and then on the weekends I allow myself really I don't even really count but I do know like if I'm gonna eat something really heavy I'll eat one meal so for example if I know I'm gonna eat some gumbo and I know it's gonna be salty and I'm probably gonna weigh two to three pounds more than I should and that I usually would normally weigh and every time it never fails every time I have gumbo I go up like three pounds I mean it's crazy and if I have it the next day again I'll go up like another pound like I'm, I'm usually anywhere from three to five pounds within come Monday when I weigh myself so I try not to eat gumbo two days in a row, but it's hard because I cook it and then it's here and then my family wants to eat on it for the whole weekend. And then what do I do? You know, I'm smelling it. I smell the roux. It's crazy. So anyway, um, I try to monitor and watch my um, salt intake and calorie um, and calories pretty much throughout this whole time, you know, just on a daily basis. But again, on the weekends, I allow myself time to have gumbo and boiled crawfish and things like that. I mean, that's not the only things that I eat, y'all, but I, that's my high sodium foods that I recognize my weight starts to skyrocket up. So, um, and so what I did for the month of February was just throughout the weekdays, stayed on the 1600 calorie um, diet. I kept my protein at an upwards of 100 um, grams or more. And I kept my fiber on 30 to 35 grams or more. So that was good. Um, what's really weird is I went to my job. We had, you know, and I work from home. So 
every now and then I will go into the office like five to six times a year. So last week I went into the office and um, they had like a health uh, like health fair sort of thing where you can kind of get the little screen in at your finger and all that jazz. And they'll update you on any information health wise. Right. So everything came back great. But what's weird is I think it was my HDL that was slightly elevated and I don't get it because I'm working out like crazy. Um, have I eaten a little bit worse than what I was so say on Manjaro? Probably so. I would say so. Um, I not really having a lot of the, the sugar cravings as much as I normally would prior to and how I normally did before being on my Jaro. But it's more so like um, just food that I normally would cook. I was cooking a lot during my Jaro. And now I've kind of gone back to this busy life. So although I'm monitoring and watching my calories and I'm watching everything that I eat, I still go and I may have fried chicken. I'm going to put it, you know, and it's not because I just completely crave it. It's because it's easily accessible for me. You know what I mean? And sometimes I'm really busy. And then my husband's like, okay, I'm going to today because I'm working late online. He'll call me and say, hey, I'm going to bring home some chicken. And I'm like, cool, because I didn't cook today. You know, and so the days that I don't cook, it's just we'll still eat fast food, if that makes sense. And so that sucks because I really was giving myself a lot of time to cook better for my family and so i'm still cooking like four to five days out the week um but there's still days that i just i need that quick accessible food and i may not even necessarily eat a lot of it but it, it's not good for my family either but at the same time you know I'll, I'll eat a piece of chicken and before you know it i'm like oh my god like that was not good to eat that was greasy that was so that part I'm going to have to watch out and probably go back to truly eating the like salmon and fish and, you know, the, the things that she was kind of mentioning that I was eating before. Um, but now it's just like I'm back to my busy lifestyle. Manjaro was like the, on the forefront of my life at one point. I was eating right. Just I was hyper focused on losing weight and just kind of. Right. And so now that has subsided and I'm just on a maintenance sort of thing. So I'm really not even. 100% aware anymore. It's just trying to eat right and, 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 and do better. So um, I'm going to have to kind of keep that on the forefront, my health and what I'm eating. Um, it wasn't anything for her to say, like she said, to just completely be alarmed. Of, I don't remember the number. I want to say it was a couple of points. I don't remember, but it was a couple of points away from being normal and um, low, you know, so away from being normal. So that just kind of scared me. So um, I think I'm just going to really truly go back to eating, not 100%, but at least like my 80-20 like I was doing. I'm more so probably 60-40 with still watching the calories, still eating the good pro proper protein. I mean, not proper, but good protein and um, not good protein, protein and still eating my fiber. I still do all of that, but I may have a fried piece of chicken versus a baked piece of chicken. It's the choices, right? So that's what I'm going to have to continue to monitor. Yes, I have maintained. Yes, I'm watching my calories. Yes, I'm still eating the proper macros that I need, which are just like my high fiber and my high protein because I work out and I need that muscle. Um, but Am I making the right choices and eating the proper protein that I should be eating? No, not all the time. And I think that it has caused my cholesterol to slightly, can't say elevate, um, slightly be off. Okay. And so, um, so now I'm going to go back to just kind of making sure that I am uh, not eating the fried foods, the sodium foods. I, I keep saying fried as if I just eat it all the time, but I mean, yeah, you know. Um, same thing with like a burger. If my husband goes, we, we have Whataburger here in Texas. So Whataburger is the thing for us, right? So um, I'll get a burger. I won't get the fries, but I'll get a burger. And I shouldn't get the burger. I mean, I count it and I include it in my macros, you know, my points for the day and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's a burger. I shouldn't have those often, you know, particularly if I'm trying to kind of watch myself for a while. Although 
I treat myself again on the weekends. But yeah, it's just it's just a lot. Um, weight wise, yes, doing great. I think that this is something that I probably could maintain overall. I just have that feeling. I I, I get up in the mornings. I feel skinny. Some days I'll even go under the 145. I don't always kind of go up. I do go down some days. Um, so that part is good. But there are still people who are really little and skinny who still have, you know, high cholesterol and things like that. So I, that's the part that I'm going to have to try to make sure that I monitor. So I'm going to notify my doctor because I just recently went to the doctor two months ago and all of my numbers were great. We were so happy not to say that it was just out of the ordinary um, for her to have been concerned with to begin with. But it was a good sign that all numbers that were even somewhat slightly elevated went back to normal. And to hear this is kind of weird. So I'm going to go back and get another check on that just because I'm just curious to see. Because even since that has happened, and that was about a week ago, um, I've made some changes. So I think I'm going to continue doing what I do for another two, three weeks, and then go back and check back with my doctor, schedule an appointment, and um, just kind of get an, uh, an updated um, workup of those numbers again, particularly for cholesterol. But yeah, my A1C, everything else was looked great, um, as always anyway, right? I didn't really have an A1C issue, but um, again, just slight insulin resistance. Um, so I just got to monitor that because cholesterol, A1C, all of that stuff all goes hand in hand. So when you start going down with cholesterol, everything else kind of starts to, right? So I, I, I don't want that to happen. So yeah, so other than that, um, I've been um, trying to shy away from a lot of the protein shakes because I was heavy on the protein shakes at one point and um i think that i've noticed the change in weight too not necessarily that i was gaining on the protein shakes but it just kind of kept a extra fluff that i didn't need as soon as i lightened up on the protein shakes a couple of pounds went down and then i kind of that was like my base so the protein shakes kind of kept it up a few pounds so i'm trying to get my protein from actual meat sources or um like other things you know particularly like peanuts and you know nuts and and um chia seeds and um yogurts and uh things of that sort so um it's all a work in progress i'm trying to learn it all uh and figure out what's my little niche when it comes to the things that i like that works for me and that doesn't make my cholesterol elevate like that so anyway just wanted to give y'all an update and um we'll see we'll see um you know, hopefully my cholesterol numbers, that was just some kind of weird, which I can't see, but hopefully that was just some kind of weird result that I'm hoping was a one-off or something. So I'll keep y'all posted on that. In the meantime, yes, I'm trucking along. I'm doing pretty well. I'm still working out. Last week, I didn't go to the gym. Um, but two days out the week because my mother had some things and I was kind of like, in and out helping her and I could tell a difference in this week this week I'm super sore almost like my body was like well, where have you been so I um am back tough this week I'm just I'm just trucking along so yeah I will keep you guys posted but in, in the next few days I will be posting a video another video so just kind of stay tuned for that and yeah I will talk to you guys later